maffia, gangsters en drugs. In deze video loop ik één dag mee bij de Taiwanese recherche en hun arrestatieteam. He killed his uh, wife and also two kids, two, 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 kids. two, two daughter. And the, the, the question one, how to call him back? Yeah, because you're here, I see cannabis. Yeah. In, in the Netherlands, that's, that's legal. So. Did he hit you? Uh, he my man. That's the woman that ran AK-47. We zijn op dit moment in de parkeergarage van het Criminal Investigation Bureau. Oftewel, hier zit de recherche van Taipei. En helemaal beneden in de garage worden we opgewacht. Met nummertje 4. In welke landen wil je dat ik nog meer met de politie ga meelopen? Hello. Laat het weten in de comments. Hallo, hey, nice to meet you. Hallo, yeah, nice yeah. Overt. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for welcoming us. You can uh, park here. Perfect, oké. Okay. En het doel van deze video is de 5000 likes. Dus doe een duimpje omhoog. Hallo, Over. Nice okay. to meet you. Yeah. Did I pronounce it right? Ja, yeah. you are Edward. Yeah. Edward. Yeah. Edward, yeah. perfect. <laughs> And you've lived in the Netherlands, right? Yes, I used to uh, stay there for uh, four years as a police and officer. Ja. Yeah. Binnen de filmwereld zijn thrillers en misdaadverhalen een van de populairste keuzes van de consument. Het mysterie en de aantrekking. Wat dat wat niet mag ons geeft. I'm the first one to set up the office in the Netherlands. Oh wow. So uh, wow. I stayed here for four years and then I was just uh, transferred back since last year. But was it like a, a, a Taiwanese yeah. police? In our, yeah, I'm, I'm a Taiwan, Taiwanese yeah, police. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So uh, we, uh, uh, my main uh, mission there is uh -huh. to uh, get the contact with the Netherlands uh, Dutch police. Yeah, Netherlands police and also uh, Europe. Aha. Ik heb wel eens een snoepje gestolen. Ook nog wel eens een worstenbroodje. Ik heb denk ik wel een honderdtal keren over een hek geklommen op locaties waar dat niet mocht. Ik heb wel eens stiekem een jointje gerookt voordat ik 18 was. Misschien heb ik er zelfs wel ooit een opgestoken in een land waar dat helemaal niet mocht. Ik heb zelfs een week in de gevangenis moeten slapen. Omdat ik iets deed wat niet mocht. Oké, okay, wow. To, yeah. Like to catch... Uh... Big international criminals? Ja. Yeah. Ah, oké. Okay. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> cooperation. Ja. Yeah. We doen allemaal bij eens iets wat niet mag. Maar wat onderscheidt een echte crimineel met iemand die wel eens wat doet wat niet mag? Bestaat een echte crimineel? Of zijn we allemaal mens met bepaalde criminele daden? De een meer dan de ander. Gevoed door milieu, gezinsopstelling, trauma, emotionele disbalans en soms misschien ook wel noodzaak. Kan het in je genen zitten? In de literatuur lees en begrijp ik dat het een combinatie kan zijn van zowel nature als nurture. Before we don't have the bureau, we, we only have the we call it the CID, Criminal Investigation uh, Division. But later on, when all the criminal cases become more and more, then uh, we have some uh, <coughs> how to say bureau uh, reshuffle in our government. What does it really mean in, in practical? Like more budget? More yeah, people. More, more people, more work and more budgets. And more work, yeah. Yeah, I know more work. Thank you. Taiwan is qua grote 90% van wat Nederland is. Maar heeft ondertussen wel 23 miljoen inwoners. Redelijk dicht bevolkt dus. Grote internationale crimezaken worden hier afgehandeld. Het zijn de detectives, de recherche van Taiwan. Narcotics, violence, gangsters. All included in your All work. included in the CIP. Yeah. You can say that we are like your uh, national unit. Some brigade is in charge of uh, like kidnapping, some is about uh, local gangsters, and some is uh, one division is in charge of all the international uh, criminal affairs. And one is, all, we also have our forensic lab. If uh, some uh, uh, terrorists attack mm -hmm. Taiwan, so we are, we are prepared. Yeah. If I read something online, it's mm -hmm. really safe and there are mm -hmm. no terroristic uh, mm -hmm. things that happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but are, are there still sometimes uh, yeah, we, we things can, happening? Yeah, if you can say something about yeah, it. Yeah, as you, you, you know now, is uh, the, the, there are many you know people uh, like we call it the lone wolf. So they walk along. And they maybe they have some problem, uh, uh, mental issue. So, ah, yeah. yeah. So, so they still uh, uh, will send some email and then say, oh, make bombs. Saying that, oh, I want to uh, bomb the airport. Puur gefocust op het terrorisme zien we lage cijfers binnen Taiwan. Hoe komt dat? Waarom heeft bijvoorbeeld in Europa hier veel meer last van? For those kind of cases, we still have. But it, it is not like the, the terrorist uh, attacks like in Europe, you know. We have a very uh, strict uh, policy 
to um, to check for those uh, dangerous people to come into Taiwan. Even though we are we welcome all the, the tourists to Taiwan, but uh, we uh, have a close cooperation with different countries. So uh, we are uh, very sure about uh, to make sure not let those uh, terrorists come into Taiwan. Yeah, and we are, yeah. we are also have prepared. De ontwikkeling die ik heden naar zie is een veranderende visie en aanpak bij de afhandeling van een crimineel. De statistiek bewijst dat wil je het draaideur effect tegengaan, je het belang van straffen moet laten gaan. Reïntegratie is het nieuwe point of focus. Geen honderden uren meer in een isoleercel met droog brood, nee. Werken, studeren en zelfs entertainment in de vorm van concerten en lezingen achter de gevangenisdeuren. Yeah, because yeah. here I see cannabis. Yeah. In, in the Netherlands, that's, that's legal. Yeah, we so can we can go to a coffee shop, we can smoke, that's no problem. Yeah. But here in Taiwan, that's different, right? This is illegal in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if uh, it's the first time, uh, first uh, time he got catched, and also he, he didn't possess the large amount of the, the cases. If it's a minor one, maybe it would just be warning. If it's a serious one, and then he might be sent to the they send to some intention. In, yeah, intention. Yeah. So to, to help you. Ah. Yeah, to help you to yeah. get. Yeah, like clinic. Yeah. 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 Okay, oh, interesting. Oh, that, that's something good. Yeah. So not only punishment, not only, no, 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 but no. also getting them yes. back in society. Yes. Yes. Maar hoe mooi dit ook klinkt, toch is mijn beeld over Aziatische aanpak veel anders. Wat ik vaak lees en hoor is dat wanneer je wat verkeerd doet, je gezicht wordt uitgeprint en op de lantaarnpaal wordt gehangen. Zo van, kijk buurt, deze man heeft wat verkeerd gedaan. Hoe zit het daar dan precies mee? In de uh, Asia culture, they think uh, this is um, a way to... to like social, uh, yeah, social so, control? Ja, yeah, social control and also to raise the awareness from the public. Yeah. To notice this, this kind of crime is happening. And I think that something is good about it, because... Yeah. Uh, then you really don't want to yeah. do a criminal we, we act because you don't want yeah. to be ashamed. Yeah. But otherwise, if you make a, you do a wrong thing, yeah. you will be ashamed for your whole life. Yeah, correct. Like, do you really get a second ch chance then? Yeah, of course. They will have a, according to the, the law. The De romantiek van de Italiaanse maffia heeft bij mij altijd een plek in mijn hart gehad. Als jonge jongen kon ik wegdromen bij gedachten om een deel uit te maken van een familie waarbij eer en trots belangrijker was dan een schoon geweten. Maar waar komt die verheerlijking van mafioso praktijken dan vandaan? Waarom vinden wij bepaalde scènes van de Godfather zo stoer en integer dat je de moorden van de vorige scène bijna wegdoet als niet gebeurd? En hoe kan het zijn dat de ene persoon in de nek wordt gegrepen door het arrestatieteam en de andere persoon, die jongen is, achter het masker van het arrestatieteam? Om mezelf meer te verdiepen in een echte zaak die hier wordt afgehandeld, spreek ik af met de baas van het Criminal Investigation Bureau. So you, you shake it? Yeah, you shake it. Voordat we de spannende verhalen ingaan, beginnen we even met gezellig kennismaken. Jelly inside. Jelly, ja. Het zijn wel smikkel weer, hè? Even kijken. Ed, Ray en ik zijn classmates. Oh, so you've been knowing each other for a long time? Yeah. 29 years. Ja. <laughs> yeah. uh, 1992. You still 92? like each other? Yes. <laughs> yes. <Okay>. yes. <laughs> Good. What is the reason you're doing this? I want to be my, my classmate's director. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, That's a good reason. Yeah, That's a good yeah. reason. Profession <laughs> say he's good than me, so I'm angry, jealous. Yeah, I'm compared to him. <laughs> That's the <that's laughs> reason why I work a lot. <laughs> In my career as a police officer, I I never um, fire fire a, a shooting yet. But for Dustin, he's he's very experienced one. <laughs> That's why he become my, my boss now. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the story is right. If your teacher pronounced terrible, you would pronounce terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In our age, uh, uh, police officers, they are afraid to speak. We are afraid to lose our face. Yes. Uh, yeah, they, they are shy, they don't want to make any mistake. The Dutch people is the best uh, English speaking uh, Nation yeah? in Europe. <laughs> except, except us. Except us. Except us. You see, Lily standing over there and then and she don't speak. <laughs> A little. A little. Oh, okay. De sfeer zit er lekker in. Maar nu is het tijd om naar zijn kantoor te gaan. Like a story, Jesse. <laughs> 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 
It's always terrible. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. that's good. A, yeah, that's good. Is it good? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Tea, coffee, and me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Kim Men Gao Liang, the most famous liquor from Taiwan. So police officers also drink. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, if you don't drink, you are not you are not police officer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the uh, the case that? is most interested for you. So many cases, yeah, so yeah, many cases. Yeah. 2009, I joined a cold case. It's a, uh, have a young woman and uh, her two daughters they die in his, they in her apartment. And the, 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 door, the door is locked. Uh, they say he's uh, poisoned by gas and uh, he's suicide. It's a suicide case, but uh, uh, after two years, uh, the other prosecutor, they find this case is uh, weird. It's only because the the the, the woman's mother, they, she, she, he he write the uh, a letter to the new prosecutor, say, hey, my daughter don't have any reason to suicide. The last night, just she just uh, make a call, and we did they discuss uh, about the 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 school the school scene of the two kids. So. It was life was normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That grandma say, "Hey, my my daughter have no reason to commit suicide." The prosecutor uh, come to me say, "Hey, Dustin, say wow, uh, do you have time?" So I don't have. If if you, you if you you give me a new case, I have. Because <laughs> I know that uh, no, nobody want to do the case. Do the case. It's, it's, uh, two years ago, I, I go to interview the neighbor. She had had been uh, punched by by her husband. The husband uh, uh, committed like a domestic violence against these uh, women. Yeah. yeah. So and, and, and that's the, the neighbor told you that. Yeah, over 20, 25, 25 neighbors. Yeah, everybody like to share their understanding about the victims. Yeah. So yes. they tell a lot. Yeah, yeah I write so a lot of notes. Yeah. yeah. Two years ago, it, 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 everybody blamed on me. Why you are coming so late? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize for this. Yeah, but in the beginning, the case is not uh, to CIB, but it's to the investigated by the local police. The, the suspect might be her husband go to Mina China to, to work. And the, the, the question one, how to call him back? They are killed. Uh, I think the only suspect is her husband. I find his mysteries they separate, and after the the, the murder case, they, they don't contact each other. So I, I pretend uh, I'm the insurance agent. Hey, this is a, a life insurance company. I'm Agent Lee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you come up with this on your mind? And when I was uh, a student at university time, my my aunt. Anti, yeah, he he he. he sales insurance. Sales insurance. Want to teach me as a, a salesman? Ah. So yeah, I know that the, the procedure of yeah. insurance. Come back, give money. You you yeah, come back. You <laughs> 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 anyway, over two million, two two million, yes, two million dollars. You can come to my office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna watch out if the <laughs> if the insurance calls me. Uh, after he come back to tell the prosecutor, hey, this guy made his company. So, wow, what? How come? It's like, yeah, yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> some uh, little skills, yeah. you cannot tell your prosecutor. Yeah. I start to bring uh, his mysteries a, li uh, a little bit uh, news about uh, he's coming back and uh, the, the other uh, police officer is start to investigate your cases and uh, he sh and uh, sh they know there's something about you and the, and then and the mystery start to get nervous give them some fake information we we do some surveillance yeah over uh, over one month for 24 hours a day and to see what happened we know how where they work and where they live and uh, their uh, the motor, the bicycle, even. Yes. You check with cameras or yeah, with microphones? Yeah, microphone. 
as you know, Taiwan is very good at the chips and also the computer mm -hmm. technology. Zoals jullie misschien wel weten, is Semiconductor Taiwan nummer 1 chipfabrikant van de wereld. En hierachter ligt hier dan de fabriek van Taiwan Semiconductor. De grootste chipleverancier voor de hele wereld als het gaat om microscopische chips die iedereen in zijn of haar iPhone heeft, die komen hier achter ons vandaan. Deze technologie gebruiken ze dus ook voor het oplossen van moordzaken. We also follow the trend of about, as you said, AI and some uh, technology. The only thing I can, I can get is confession. She even say, I, did, I am not familiar with this guy. And uh, that's why we want, yes, you lie. So we, before we put the pressure on the lady, mm -hmm. and then uh, finally he... Betray? Uh, yeah, betray yeah. his uh, boyfriend. He killed his uh, wife and also... Two kids, two, two, kids. two, two daughters. The man killed his wife and two daughters. I also feel unhappy. A father and, and, and a mother come to my office and down their knee and say, and say thank you. I say, oh, don't do that. Right? Because of the, the case is delayed to be solved after two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I feel sorry for the victim's uh, parents. It's a, it, they are farmers from the, the South Taiwan. Her parents write a lot of letters everywhere to, to seek for help. And after two years, this case come to come to me. You think, yeah, okay, uh, maybe you have some reason for me. You believe in justice. You have to do something justice. When he killed his wife and uh, her daughter, uh, they wake, they, they wake, up. wake up. They want to go to the toilet, and this, he saw he saw him kill his wife. And then he killed her. Voor bepaalde, potentieel gevaarlijke situaties waarbij het personeel van de CIP gevaar dreigt te lopen, wordt een bepaalde speciale eenheid ingeroepen. Ik zie iets uh, interessants walking there. Ja, ja <laughs> dat is jouw SWAT team. Ja, dit is jouw SWAT team. Wauw, zo, zo ongelooflijk. Er komen in één keer twee, uh, twee personen hier aangenomen van het SWAT team. Hallo, nice to meet you. You, you know, Taiwan still has some gangsters. Or tell mafia, then um, for some cases we think it's dangerous. Then we have our uh, SWAT team to uh, assist us. Yeah, wow. I'm Criminal Investigation Bureau, the Special Tactical Unit. How do you be part of it? Me? 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 Yeah. So that's why uh, we need the SWAT team. You're packed quite well. You have a good gun <laughs> and a good armor. And have you ever be need needed to use something like this, like the armor or the gun? In his personal experience, he remember there is uh, it's in a motel uh, when they uh, open the, the the garage gate, the suspect used the pistol, uh, uh, you know, firing on one one meter. Whoa! Yeah. So Did he hit you? So the shield is really high protection. All our uh, gear or equipment is the high tech art. You know, we, we purchased the best equipment for yeah. our men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AK 47. AK 47. Yeah? No, yeah. Problem. Okay, no problem. No problem. Wow. How many times uh, a week do you have an action? So today's case is also related to the, the mafia. So uh, we assume they might have uh, be, they might be armed. Was the arrest successful? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. What are the uh, the crimes that happen the most in Taiwan? Anti-mafia. As you know that there are 70% area in Taiwan is mountain area. The urban. urban area, yeah. they will work, uh, wear this uh, coat. Yeah. How, how, how does it feel sometimes? Because of course it's, it's good work eh? and you, you quit somebody that, that is criminal and uh, is really dangerous. But still, uh, in, I think in the inside you know it's like a human maybe with family. Mm -hmm. Uh, how, how can you combine it, like the, the feeling and, and the work? Mm -hmm. 
安全和平的方式去把这个任务完成。In their every mission, they、uh, of course、uh, they hope to、uh, arrest the guys peaceful, peacefully. But、uh, our main duty is to protect our team and our other、uh, innocent people. If the the bad guys make them、uh, no choices, they、uh, they have to、uh, fight back. Give us a life lesson to the people and younger people in the Netherlands. There is no、uh, free lunch, and there is no also no、uh, you know free gift from heaven. Oh yeah. So if you do something bad, you have to pay back. Don't think that、uh, you can do something that people doesn't know, something bad, and or you you can earn much money in overnight. It will never happen. You, you, you don't think about that. You will always yeah, get you caught. Always, you are, there is always a cost. Yeah. The youngsters see the police or the units arrest. At that moment, they know. It, yeah. The, there is no time for them to regret. Regret is useless. Yeah. Yeah. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah. yeah it's too late. Yeah. So do right. Do right. Yeah. yeah.